Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide and we are on June 9th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well as earthquakes, volcanoes and a look at world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last two days of imagery on our sun. Yesterday we did document that large plasma filament eruption which created a CME, a coronal mass ejection, towards Earth, expecting that solar storm within the next 24 to 36 hours. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, large sunspot grouping in the southern part of our sun, which is the left-hand side here on images, and outgoing imagery here. You're going to see that large plasma filament snap away from the sun. Heavy, heavy proton solar influx. Having a look at multi-spectrum here. Two major sunspot players. And as well, coronal hole, but pretty diminished in the southern hemisphere of our sun. That's something we haven't seen for quite a few, uh, quite a few weeks. Coronal holes have been diminishing. Sunspots have been growing. Sunspot numbers have been increasing. As noted yesterday, almost three times the predicted sunspot values. 171 angstroms here. You can see the magnetic field of all the sunspot regions. Umber fields and as well, eight sunspots to look at here. Another quick look at our sunspot regions in motion. I want to thank you all for watching. Hitting play, subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. Much love, everybody. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1. Radio blackout impacts expected. And as well, R3. Strong solar radiation storms actually just dropped down to level 2. Solar winds are coming in at 404 kilometers per second. Solar x-ray flux in the middle of a strong C flare range, but noting here three M class flares the last two days and heavy solar proton influx KP down to about a one. Having a look at the Space Weather Prediction Center showing their spiral, a little bit updated and changed since yesterday's models, but still showing here a pretty large solar storm or a coronal mass ejection heading towards Earth, which is that little green circle on the outside of that spiral. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing here. Minor CME taking off towards the Parker Solar Probe. And as well showing the geomagnetic instability that's on its way. Having a look at tonight and tomorrow's Aurora Forecast. And then LASCO 2 showing the last two days of cosmic energies leaving our sun. Welcome to the modern day cosmic dance party, the ultimate cosmic dance party, right there with that large coronal mass ejection from the plasma filament eruption. Amazing stuff as we are instantly penetrated and radiated from our sun with this latest event. Having a look at that starry sphere is Venus leaving. Having a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours, USGS reporting 322 earthquakes. But notable here, Cobb Mountain, yesterday we did report the 4.2 earthquake, but since then we've seen 150 shakers throughout the region. Earthquake swarm in process right now at the geysers and continuing has been continuing all day long and pretty widespread as well so Cobb Mountain earthquake swarm other than that not too much to report notable earthquake here sizable as well 6.2 earthquake Pacific Antarctic Ridge with quite a few aftershocks and that's right along the southern Pacific Antarctic fault line other than that, not too much to talk about. No deep earthquakes in Fiji. 
and no real major earthquakes to report. 321 earlier on today, we were at well over 400 earthquakes. That was including the swarm at Cobb Mountain or the geysers. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Let's get an update on the SO2 content brought to you by our 48 active and erupting volcanoes. Pretty large plume now getting ready to sweep across Canada from the Iceland volcano eruption, which is still ongoing, still spewing sulfur dioxide emissions into our atmosphere. Southern Hemisphere overlooking Africa, South America. Regular plumes coming from those regions. Overlooking Southeast Asia and Russia. No major new eruptions to report here or any peculiar sulfur dioxide plumes. But notable there, lots of SO2 stretched across the, the Australian continent. Watch for that to slowly clear out this week. Now let's get to weather here. World weather starting off in North America. Low pressure system scooting across eastern seaboard of Canada and the United States. High pressure ridge building in after that. And then two low pressure systems scooting across the Canadian prairies. One will be heading northward. The other one will be heading straight east. Watch for extreme weather breakout there Thursday to Friday for Ontario. Parts of northeastern United States. Long-range forecast could see a Gulf tropical system developing. Overlooking South America, pretty strong low-pressure systems penetrating the coastline there. Chile, Argentina. And as well, some stormy conditions across Central Africa. Overlooking Europe. High pressure ridge building in here for the next few days. Not going to last long though. Another big system coming from the north. And watch for a rainy and windy event for the UK and northeastern Europe. Other than that, high pressure ridge is dominant. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia. No major typhoons or cyclo cyclones forecast here. Just some extreme weather and monsoon rains through the regular regions. And a very large low pressure system that's affecting New Zealand in the long range forecast. A days upon days of rain. I'm going to leave you here looking at the Pacific Ocean. Watching three major systems come in this week. Most of them scooting through Alaska and northern BC. High pressure ridge is still pretty dominant along the west coast, the United States and Canada. But watch for some strong lows coming in the long range and as well possible development of a tropical system in the Gulf. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you so much for watching. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun and get your daily due. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.